Hi, this is Zach from Watches on You, and today we're, I am coming to you from JB Hudson Jewelers once again, and I am reviewing the Rolex Daytona 16528 in solid gold. So this watch has become famous for its rich history and some of the people that have publicized it. So it was named after the Daytona stock car race that Rolex now sponsors. Um, and the reason this watch has also become so famous is Paul Newman, the famous actor, had worn this watch frequently. And he had worn the older vintage watch that with the more unique and that is more unique and rare. And that watch now goes into the over hundred thousand dollar range. So coming back to this watch, I'm gonna go into the case here first. The case is a solid 18 karat gold with both polished and brushed edges. The polishing on the sides and tachometer bezel really glistens in the light and gives it a very, very appealing look. And also it, the brushing in between the lugs gives it a very nice kind of contrast to that polishing. Now I'm moving to the dial of this watch. The dial is a deep black um, glossy dial that gives a very, very nice look on the wrist. The black just really contrasts to that gold. And then as you can see on the sub dials, you also have gold, in gold markers and hands on there as well. So now, going to the features of this watch, bouncing off the sub dials there, this watch it is a chronograph, as you can see, but it uses the Rolex 4120 movement now. Now this watch had used the Zenith El Primero movement and the um, Valjoux 72 in the past, but now they have gone all in-house with their own column wheel chronograph movement that is COSC certified and actually exceeds their standards. So now to show the chronograph action there, I'm gonna use, I'll start it with the top pusher you can see that second hand moving along the dial there. Very smooth matter as this beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour. Um, then you stop it with that top pusher and then reset and just pops right back up. Now that resetting motion feels absolutely great. It just feels so smooth when you're pushing it in and it just pops right back. You can really feel the quality that Rolex had put into this movement. So overall, this watch is a great, er, sorry actually, before doing that, I'm gonna go and do the wrist shot and then I'll go into the conclusion. Here we go, guys. Just snapping on that really nice oyster clasp. So here's what the watch looks like on the wrist. It looks, in my opinion, very, very good. Just that gold really glistens in the light. The size is not too overwhelming. It's perfect size for my wrist. Um, I could see how maybe if you have a small, small wrist, then it would probably be a little big, but it's about pretty much the perfect size. It would look fabulous with a suit and that nice alligator strap contrasting with that gold. So now going into the conclusion, conclusion here, this watch overall, fantastic Rolex quality. It's when you're buying a Rolex, you know you're gonna get that quality and that definitely does not fall short with this watch. Um, this watch, it will be on the pricey side. The retail varies depending on if you're going pre-owned or brand new, but it would be on the pricier side since it is made out of solid gold. Um, but overall the quality definitely there very good quality you can see why this watch is famous by holding it in your hand or having it on your wrist and um thanks for watching this video make sure to subscribe and watch our other reviews and thank you for watching